Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So we're now on video eight, which is the light sensor or light dependent resistor to give it its component name. So we have the code eight underscore LDR, light dependent resistor dot PY. So we're gonna break down how that code works and we're also gonna look at the electronic circuit, how we actually wire up this device. So we have this new circuit and we have um, two new components. We have the light dependent resistor here and we have the capacitor here and it's all connected together with a single wire up to the GPIO which I think is pin number three. GPIO three on the new boards and one on the old boards. A lot of the code for this particular one's come from the Raspberry Pi Spy and the Adafruit website so check out those links to see a bit more information about these diagrams. We're going to introduce uh, variables with strings, so how to actually put words and text into it, how to look at date and time, and how to write um, and read file from a file. So we have our standard code on the left hand side here, the first block you should be fairly familiar with, which is how to set up um, the Python interpreters and all the modules that we're using. This function here is designed to set up the GPIO pins. So this is called slightly later in the script, and um, it goes through and it sets all the pins to an output and to a low state. This section sets up the file loop and takes a reading from the light dependent resistor. But how does this actually work? We have three different things that we should go into measure, which are time, resistance, and capacitance. The resistance is the light dependent resistor. The more light we shine through it, the lower the resistance and the quicker the um, voltage can flow through it. So in short, we measure how long it takes for the circuit to reach a voltage that is great enough for the GPI to register it as high. Um, and so as we change the light levels, that pit that takes longer or shorter, and then we get our reading from that. So we have the main while statement here of our program, and we have a variable called date uh, get date time and what this does is it uses the date time command on the operating system to record the current date and store that date into a variable. Now what we have here is um, we have date dot time, oh sorry, date time dot date time dot now and then we have uh, it then pass it with this command here which changes the date time um, format into a string which means it can be then stored into the variable and then we have year, month, day, hour, minute, second. So you can change that if you want to. Um, so that's what that there's for. We then have this here, which takes the reading from the function. And this is the actual line that calls that function that makes the reading. Note that it has three in the uh, brackets, and that's the actual GPIO pin we're running. So if you're using a version one uh, Raspberry Pi, you're gonna to wanna to change that to one. And what this will do is it will just print the current results to the screen so we get a um, we actually get a reading to our screen. So we have a, a line of code here that says fo or foo equals open and then the path to our file which is called foo.txt and what it basically means is a file open equals and then we open and read the contents of the file um, and saves that to the variable. Then what it will do is it will say get date and time so it will read uh, the variable from up here and it will write that variable to that file. Backslash n is a character line feed and that will write that at the end of the file. What the base does is it just enters a, uh, an enter so it goes on to the next line. And then the last line we have here um, actually closes that file off, saves it, it will then wait a second and then start to the top of the while loop. So let's just see that and how that works in action. Okay, so let's look how we set up this particular breadboard circuit. So you want to take your light dependent resistor and you're going to want to connect one leg to the positive rail and one leg uh, just to one of the normal pins. The capacitors have a particular direction, so there's a negative pin which is that little uh, line there and you want to connect that up to the uh, negative rail and then the positive leg you want to stick to the same rail as the resistor. And in between the light dependent resistor and the capacitor you're going to want to connect up the cable that goes to your GPIO. So it's actually quite a simple um, layout. So I got it wrong there, so I quickly adjusted it. And the other one goes up to the GPIO pin 3. So we just want to check that our code is there, and we're going to run the 8 underscore 
ldr.python code, that's the one we're going to run in a moment. But if you remember, the first thing we need to do is to create a text file that we can write our results to, because we're going to open that file. So on the touch space foo.txt command, which will create a blank file called foo.txt, run ls-l to make sure that file is created, and then we're just going to run our script. There we go. And you can see there it starts writing to the screen the value. So a, a general ambience of a room um, is about 70. I'm just going to use my mobile phone to put a really bright light and we can see it goes down to about 28. So the resistance level goes down to about 28. Um, these uh, aren't quite synced up because um, I did record them at slightly different times. So apologies that there's a little bit of delay there. Um, and then turn the lights out and you can see that goes up to almost 90. Um, and then again, I think I, yeah, up to 90. And then I put the light back on again and it shoots back down all the way down to 15 at this point. So you may want to have to play with that. Results might vary because say I recorded these two bits at different times. But that's it, working. So one last thing we can do is we can just double check that file we created, foo.txt, and the last reading will be written to that file. So just run the more command on foo.txt. And there we go, that was the time of the reading and what the, temp uh, the light sensing was at the time. If you want to learn more about Python and programming, I recommend that you go to the Code Academy's website and follow their Python track. They have a fantastic interactive website that can teach you far more than I can do in these short videos. So if you want to continue watching these videos, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel for latest updates.